right, here we are on a beautiful El Cajon day. Towards the end of the day, the light's just perfect to bring you a really cool 1932 Ford two-door sedan. Really kind of a cool hot rod, Ford and a Ford. We're gonna walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. Very, very nicely done. I have my cheat sheet here. It's finished in uh, Exalta du DuPont Chromax Pro. Euro black, base coat, clear coat. You can kind of get a look down the side here. Nice and cool, nicely done. Dropped axle up front. Has a two and a half inch chop on the roof here. It has a, the insert is a uh, 62 to 63 Chevy wagon. Roof insert on it. Has electric cowl. Nice big and little kind of set. Black, just uh, dog dish hot style hubcaps. Hairpins up front here. Cross steer on it very nice traditional style done up front here has a uh, rootly four-piece hood it's a factory reproduction hood it's done with a 25 louver hood sides on it very cool it's an original henry body the grill this is a reproduction grill shell and grill we'll have all the specs at spuds garage for you here um, as we go through i actually have the sheet in my hand but there's no way i'm going to be able to get everything in there See so a disc brakes up front, GM calipers, chrome. Dropped axle drilled. 33-34 Ford commercial headlights up front here. Just a nice, good, old-school feel to it. Step back and let you take a look here. The lights actually just turned out perfect just now. Great look to it. Um, factory windshield that type of thing we talked about the cal being a power nice little peep mirrors here a lot lots of birds chirping and even roosters today while i'm out here getting inside here door shut really nice that type of thing it is all henry steel body the interior on it, I'm going to get over here to the cheat sheet on that, has a Glide Engineering front 5151 bucket seat, so it's fully adjustable. You can recline it. Has seat belts front and rear, so you can put your grandkids in it. Nice early style dash with, uh, I believe those are uh, moon eyes gauges in there. We'll get around to the driver's side here and cover more. Has air conditioning. I actually want to back up here. I mentioned Ford and a Ford. You kind of get a peek here. It has a Ford 351 Windsor underneath the hood. Blueprint racing engine. Punched out to like 408 cubic inches. Uh, specs, we'll get underneath the hood. And again, we'll have specs at Spud's Garage here. Uh, powertrain uh, engine dyno at 420 horse with 497 foot-pounds of torque. Aluminum cylinder heads. GM 700R4 automatic overdrive that's done with a custom adapter. Out of Tascadero, Ford 9 inch with 325 ratio out back. The interior itself here is uh, it's an original 32 Ford rear seat, custom black and charcoal, vinyl seat upholstery and trim. I believe it's an ultra leather, it really looks like leather, it's nice and soft. Cruise around here, let's take a feel here. Factory style door handles. Doors shut nice. See the reflections in the bricks there. Sidewalls and the tires have been buffed to give to that clean look. I don't know that I have tire sizes, but I'll probably figure if I can dig, dig them out or not. Out back here, you gotta like the, the roof chop on this when it's done just right. Two and a half inches with that uh, rib fill panel out of a Chevy wagon, it's kinda cool. Just nice and blacked out, black spreader bar, that type of thing. We'll give you a peek at the rear end down here. We did some on the front. Has custom uh, exhaust with Patriot headers, uh, Magnaflow mufflers, got a nice sound to it. You probably already heard it run there. Two and a half inch mandrel bent exhaust in the back here. Give you a little peek here. Get up in here. Ladder bar style rear suspension in there. Again, 325 ratio on the back. 
LED tail lights on the back. Throughout the video here, you'll see it running. You'll see the LED tail lights. Got that sweet uh, old school hot rod stance right there. Fun car. Getting inside here, we talked a lot about over on the driver's side, uh, over on the passenger side. We'll hop in the driver's side here and give you more feel. Factory style pull, door pull handles here and window cranks or vin vintage style. Has a 40 Ford steering wheel with a tilt steering column. Has vintage air conditioning and heat. Again, Ford in a Ford. Back seat here. See it has seat belts in the back for the grandkids. Headliner is nice and sculpted and done. It's kind of a two-tone uh, charcoal gray and black. Here are the roosters. Take me a little bit to get the elbow. It has map pockets front and rear here. Vin tag is right there. Hot rod styles, tilt column with column shift. Again, GM 700 R4 with a custom adapter. Had a couple cars with those over the years here. This is a uh, little magnetic applique so you can remember where your heat and AC controls are. They're actually right there, but it actually tells you which way to turn them. Does have a uh, functional wiper. The arm's not on it. Overhead tack. Moon eyes tack, so moon eyes gauges. You just turn the key on here. Put my foot on the brake just for safety reasons here. Make sure she's all the way in park. All gauges are functional. Fuel gauge reads about a half, 13 volts. Doesn't have many miles on the build. 50 pounds of oil pressure, 180 temperature. See the LED indicator lights there. High beam, that type of thing. I'm gonna pull the headlights on. It's got one of those three-way headlights, so one's park, one's high beam, and, and one's uh, regular beams. You'll see how the high comes on there when it's pulled all the way out. <laughs> Again, this is magnetic. It comes off the dash if you want it off. CAC, you can see the light there. All the gauges are lit up right there because we got the headlights on. Crank out windshield, factory style. Dual quad 351. Very cool. Make sure you hang out of the video. We'll have different clips cover the engine compartment here for you. Okay, forgot to mention it's got electric emergency brake. You hit this button here. It's set. Now it's off. All right, we'll get you underneath the hood. Very nice, Ford and a Ford. Nicely done. Uh, gonna go over some of the specs here for you, mostly by memory. I also have a cheat sheet right over there, but uh, uh, 350 Ford, 351 Windsor. It's stroked out to 408 cubic inches. It's a blueprint racing engine, complete long block. It has aluminum cylinder heads on it. Has a uh, dual quad Edelbrock intake manifold with Endura shine. Moon Eyes uh, teapot style air filters on it that have, have custom offsets built so it would fit underneath the hood just right. Eddy Motorsports serpentine, serpentine fan belt drive. We'll get on both sides here and cover it for you. Has the uh, Vega Cross steer steering there. Patriot, I call them a tri y style. Um, Patriot headers on it, they're ceramic coated, goes down into two and a half inch mandrel bent custom exhaust with the Magnaflow mufflers on it. The Eddy Motorsports front 
all high-end stuff here high amp alternator there's a walker custom radiator in it you can see the walker up there get over on the other side and cover some more as we cruise around here factory style distributor electronic ignition the air conditioning is over on this side here it has a cooling components electric cooling fan on it thermostatically controlled so it comes on automatically receiver dryers down here so it does have AC and heat you'll see the heat lines there does have an electric choke on the rear carburetor bottom side of the hood uh, nicely finished off like the rest of the car transmissions a uh, GM 700 R4 I don't know the name of the company but it has a custom adapter to it that goes to the Ford small block so it's got a 700 R4 automatic overdrive Ford 9 inch rear differential with 325 ratio very cool we'll actually fire it up here for you and let you hear it run I think I just about covered it mm -hmm. 